All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Nadex Day Trading Boot Camp. We had our first session. That was Guy Adami and Travis McGee talking about the trader mindset. Some great ideas and some on, on how to have that mentality in your head uh, to handle day trading. And there was even a, a bit of a discussion around the differences between having that mentality for day trading um, as well uh, versus investing. Now, this is a day trading boot camp. We are now going to talk about products and tools to access short-term price action. That's what day trading is. Day trading is getting access to that short-term price action. And at Nadex, we've got products, binary options, knockouts, and call spreads designed specifically for that. So uh, what the plan is uh, now, uh, in fact, uh, is to go through those products. And then I want to show you the tools that we've got to help you along that journey. Now, uh, unlike last session, I'm able to get this up at the beginning, not at the end. Trading involves risk, may not be appropriate for everyone, and that any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. And this is an education session. Please do not construe anything I say as a buy or sell recommendation. I'm doing this for your education. And that will come in handy later because we are going to go through some examples. Now, I would like to put this up at the beginning. I generally also put it up at the end, but if you have any questions for us, uh, so you could certainly type them into the chat box, uh, the question box. I will try to get to those questions. I've got my colleague Nelson in the background who will diligently be trying to answer all the questions. I will tell you that if we don't answer your question, we will have someone from customer service follow up with you. Please follow us on social media. Now, one of those things on there that I would really like to emphasize is our YouTube channel. I am going to say that again, the Nadex YouTube channel. Now, why am I telling you that? Two reasons. One, a reminder, this session is being recorded. All of these are being recorded. They will be discrete recordings. They will be available on the Nadex YouTube channel, so you'll be able to go back and review these at your own pace. We will also put them on the Nadex website, under the learning section, we have webinars where you can see all upcoming webinars and you can register for them, uh, as well as an archive section where you can review uh, old recordings uh, and you can binge watch Nadex content. I know a lot of people like to consume content in their own time. I know I don't watch any TV shows live. I TiVo or DVR everything. Uh, these will be available to you. You will be able to review them later follow us on YouTube. Now, our agenda for this session, and I am going to pack this in. We got a busy 45 minutes. If I go 50, we'll just cut our break a little bit shorter uh, before my colleague uh, Dan Cook talks about some trading strategies. But what are we going to do? One, we've got a large number of brand new people. I'm going to quickly talk about who is Nadex. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but it really pertains directly to people who are looking to day trade, uh, and you'll understand why. I am then going to talk about the three different types of products that we've got to access price action in a variety of markets, whether it's indices, whether it's foreign exchange, whether it's commodities, uh, whether it's events. We've even got event contracts. We've got uh, different areas of the market because you never know what's going to be busy. And as a day trader, you want to find the hot spots in the market. Uh, so being able to look at all those different hot spots and understand them, and then using the right product to trade those markets when you find the right opportunity, we will talk about the different products at Nadex. Uh, I will go through examples of each. And then I am going to do a practical demonstration of our platform and show you some of the tools that are available. Uh, it's under the auspices of teach a man to fish. Instead of giving them fish, teach them how to fish so they can go and do it themselves. And in the end, who's going to have the greatest interest in seeing you succeed financially other than yourself? So uh, I, I love that you're here and that you're engaged with us to try to be a better day trader. 
All right, so let's get into it and get this session moving along. First of all, who is Nadex? And Nadex is short for North American Derivatives Exchange. Right? And what is it that we do? And this is very important. Nadex is a CFTC regulated electronic exchange. Now I'm emphasizing regulated. Why am I emphasizing that? Binary options, and if you're accessing binary options in the United States, Nadex is the premier binary options exchange in the United States. There is only one other regulated binary options exchange that I know of. They trade some weather contracts. They're very small, uh, but people in the United States do find access to offshore binary options exchanges. And when you're dealing with an offshore binary options exchange, my advice would be caveat emptor, buyer beware. If something nefarious were to go on or you were to have some challenges with that entity, you are not dealing with a US regulated entity. All right, so that in and of itself, we are regulated. We're regulated by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. It is the same entity that regulates the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the CME, as well as uh, the Intercontinental Exchange, ICE, who owns the New York Stock Exchange. We report into the same regulator. And that is something that differentiates Nadex from all, or uh, all, I want to say all, almost all other binary options exchanges. And the other thing that is really important is we designed contracts specifically, specifically for the individual retail trader. Our products are designed for retail day traders. So you're here as, at a day trading boot camp. The products we have at Nadex were actually designed for you. And what is it that means they're designed for the retail day trader? Number one, there's a low cost of entry. These are, um, these are not huge size contracts that require thousands of dollars of margin. Uh, if you're familiar with trading other, say, futures contracts where you've got to maintain and you have initial margin and maintenance margin and margin calls, there is none of that at Nadex, zero. These are small retail sized contracts. Uh, they vary in size from say 100 to maybe $600 in size, depending upon the product, and I'll show you that. So there's a very low cost to entry. And the second thing is it is all done in a defined risk, defined reward environment. So you can never lose more than what you think you could potentially lose when you enter a trade. Your risks are defined up front. You know before you even enter a trade what you could potentially make and what you could potentially lose. Right, so there are no surprises. No surprises. Um, so low cost to entry, defined risk, and we trade 23 hours of the day, five days a week. Okay, that is Nadex, and it's and I it's really important to understand that we really built this exchange with products designed specifically for retail traders who want to day trade. Now I wanted to talk about some of our products. Okay, and I'm gonna do this. And then once I'm done talking about these products, cause I, I would like to discuss them and you'll understand uh, how they each work. We'll then get very practical and I will bring up the platform and I will show you examples. And when I do that, I think a lot of it will resonate very clearly. I tend to be a little bit more visual. My mom is from the great state of Missouri, from Missouri, the show me state. When I show you, it should really solidify what our products are and how you could use them. So first up, what are binary options? What is a binary option? And to start it off, a binary option is a short-term defined risk, defined reward contract. That's exactly what fits into that day trader mentality, short term and defined risk reward, all right? And a binary option is a statement or a prediction that is made up of three components, okay? And what are those three components? Those three components are an underlying market, some type of condition that has to be, uh, that has to be met. We also sometimes call that the strike price or we call it the level. And then there is an expiration time associated with it. 
Now, I will go through an example in a bit. It'll make more sense, but I just want you to know that it's a short-term defined risk, defined reward contract that is a prediction. It's a prediction on an underlying market, whether it's a commodity like oil or gold or silver or, uh, silver or nat gas, or an index, whether it's a global index or one of the US indices, uh, or foreign exchange pairs. All right, we've got, and I'll show you uh, everything that we've got to offer. And then there is a, t a condition, will it be higher than? Will it be higher than? Or will it be in a range? It depends upon the contract. Uh, actually, no, will it be higher than? We're in binary options. Will it be higher than? And then expiration time. And we, this is something that differentiates Nadex from other binary options exchanges, are the amount of choices that you have. So you can build your trading plan, get what it is that you're looking to accomplish, and find the appropriate product or contract that makes sense for what you're trying to accomplish. Now, in a binary option, as I mentioned, defined risk, defined reward, it doesn't matter whether you're buying or you're selling, you know the risk and reward up front. Now, there's an important word in that, and that's selling. Another thing that differentiates Nadex from other binary options exchanges, you can buy, you can also sell. So other binary options exchanges simply don't even allow you that choice. We are going to give you a variety of choices. Different markets, different levels, different times to expiration, whether it's five minutes to a week, and you can buy it or you can sell it. So whatever your trading style is, whatever it is that you see as an opportunity, whatever your opinion is, and that is the strongest thing when you talk about trader mindset, the strongest thing that you bring to the table is your opinion. We offer you a variety of choices in order to execute on that opinion. Now, a binary option will trade. Uh, the price that you'll see a binary option, it trades between zero and 100. So there is a range that a binary option will trade in. It trades between zero and 100. Now, we mentioned it's a prediction. That is what you're really ultimately going to be asked when you trade a binary option. It's a true or false type of prediction. Either the event is going to happen, will the S&P 500 be above this level at this time, okay? And it's either gonna happen or it's not. And if it happens, the option will settle at 100. And if it doesn't happen, the option will settle at zero. That's what we mean by binary option. There are only two choices. The statement either is true and the contract goes to 100, or the statement is false and it goes to zero. Now, what's interesting is the way that we designed our binary options is they're all worth $100. So when you're trading, you can look at those numbers as how much you're willing to risk, the dollars that you're willing to risk. Um, and uh, so if I buy something at 40, my risk is 40. I bought it. It's worth 40. And what could happen? The statement could be true. The contract goes to 100. I make $60. I risked 40 to get 100, so I actually profit $60. Now, if I buy it at 40 and it doesn't happen, the other alternative is it goes to zero. And I can't lose any more than what I paid for it. All right, so it is defined risk, defined reward. I will show you some examples, but it really is rather intuitive when you look at the price it's that you're trading it's the dollars that you're putting at risk and you can quickly and easily see how much could I potentially lose? How much could I potentially make? And then I'm talking about a one lot. If you wanna trade a, a larger notional value, you just trade more contracts. Now I mentioned that the price is in dollars, but what really helps when trading these is you can think of the price of a binary option as generally reflecting the probability of the event being true as priced by the market. So if something is trading at 50, the market is saying there's a 50% chance that this is going to be true. They're also saying it's a 50% chance it's going to be false. 
Now you can either buy it at 50 or you could sell it at 50. If you think the statement is going to be true, you buy it. If you think the statement is going to be false, you sell it. Right? And similar to other listed options that you might be familiar with, time to expiration and volatility will be factored into the price of a binary option. If there is high volatility, some of those options will tend toward 50 because we don't know where this is going to ultimately settle. Uh, if it's got a lot of time to expiration, it's the same way. Now, as you get closer to expiration, all right, that will certainly be factored into the price of a binary option as well. In fact, I intend to show you uh, an example of a five minute binary option, and you will see how quickly the probabilities change as you approach expiration, because in the end, a binary option is either worth 100 or zero, and that's it. Okay, so that's a little bit on binary options, and I think you'll get it more when I show it to you on the platform. What I'd like to do now is quickly talk about knockouts. Okay, what is a knockout? And a knockout is a contract that trades within a set price range. All right, and that price range has two levels. The lower level is known as the floor, and the higher level is known as the ceiling. All right, and the contract will trade between the floor and the ceiling. So there is a known floor, there is a known ceiling, and the contract uh, that you're trading, the knockout, will move right in line with the underlying market. It's what we call a Delta One product. And by Delta One, if you, and these all settle to the price of the futures contract, let's say that you are interested in tech stocks and at NASDAQ, uh, it's called, the, uh, I'm sorry, at Nadex, it's called the, the Tech 100, the Tech 100. That is the NASDAQ 100. It settles to the NASDAQ 100 future. The value of the contract will move exactly with the NASDAQ 100 future. So it is Delta One. And just like any other market, if you think the market is going up, you can buy it. You can buy the knockout. If you think the market's going down, you can sell it. and that some tends to confuse some people. They're like, how can I sell something that I don't own? It's not that you're selling something that you don't own. It's that you're taking a short position. You're predicting if you sell a knockout, you're predicting the price of it is going to be lower later, right? where you can, it, it'll either go down um, and settle lower, or, and I'm going to go through how a, a knockout settles or it hits the floor, but you're predicting that it's going to go lower and you can either buy it back lower or you make maximum profit. We're going to go through that in a second. Uh, if you think it's going higher, you would buy it. So let's talk about how a knockout settles. And that will actually, it, it's sort of uh, intuitive then on why they're called knockouts. So one, a knockout, a knockout can expire in one of two ways. It's either price or time. And we're going to talk about price first. If the Nadex indicative index for that market touches either the floor or the ceiling, that contract expires at that value. You are knocked out of the trade. We call that a price triggered settlement. So let's go back to that Tech 100, NASDAQ 100 a hypothetical example. If you thought the NASDAQ were going higher and you bought the contract and it goes up and it touches the ceiling, Soon as, as soon as it touches the ceiling, you get knocked out of the trade. That's why it's called a knockout. There, you bought it, it touched the ceiling, you would get knocked out for maximum potential profit. Now, on the flip side, if you bought it and it were to go down, it went against you, and it touched the floor, you would get knocked out of the trade on the downside, and you would experience maximum potential loss. Now, what that essentially is, is we talked about, or you heard the trader mindset about being very disciplined in your trading. And that is knowing, having a profit goal or having a stop loss level, a knockout essentially 
bakes in a trading plan into the product. If you buy a knockout, you know exactly the levels where you would experience maximum potential profit and maximum potential loss. It's giving you a very clear exit for your profit. It's also giving you a very clear stop loss if you're wrong. Now, if I thought the NASDAQ uh, index, the tech 100 were going lower, I could sell that knockout, all right? I want it to go lower, I sell it. Now, if I'm wrong and it goes higher and touches the ceiling, I would get knocked out for maximum potential loss. So I stop my losses. I'm gonna be disciplined. I, I, I sold it, uh, I thought it was going lower, it went against me, I was wrong, I got knocked out and, I, I, and it doesn't matter how high it goes, I can't lose anymore, I know exactly how much I could potentially lose. And on the flip side, if I sold it because I thought it was going lower and it did go lower, I've got a profit goal, maximum potential profit, and if it touches that floor, I get knocked out of the trade down at the bottom level for maximum profit because I sold it. Now, if it keeps going lower than that, I can't make any more. What it does is it makes you be very disciplined, and we offer a variety of knockout choices there's generally four knockouts for every product with different floors and ceilings. So you can choose which risk reward ratio suits your trading style or short, uh, suits your trading behavior or suits your trading plan. You have a variety of choices on knockouts with different floors and different ceilings so that you can choose whichever knockout you want to buy or sell and it will have built-in uh, maximum profit or maximum potential loss. Now, in the event that a knockout doesn't touch the floor or ceiling, there is a time-triggered settlement. Our knockouts all are initially start as week-long contracts, and if for some reason it doesn't touch either the floor or ceiling all week, your profit or loss will be the difference between where you bought or sold it and the price that it settled at. So if I bought it and it went up but didn't touch the ceiling, I would have some type of partial profit. If I bought it and it went down but didn't touch the floor, I would have some type of partial loss. And vice versa is true. If I sell a knockout and it goes up but doesn't touch the ceiling, I would never get knocked out for maximum loss, but I would have some type of partial loss. And if I were to sell it and it were to go lower but not touch the floor, I would experience some type of partial profit. Okay, so we have binary options. They're true or false predictions. Is the event going to happen? Yes or no. And it's going to be a probability that you're trading. Uh, and in the end, it's either true and the probability, the, the statement came true and it went to 100% and it goes to $100 or it's false and it goes to 0% or $0 and you can buy or sell them. And then knockouts, a little different. These are Delta One products. You're actually trading the price of the underlying. All right, so you can say, is this going up or is this going down? And I take a directional play uh, on what I think is going to happen, but I've got very clear and distinct knockout levels, which are essentially my profit goal and my stop loss, whether I buy or whether I sell. Now, we do have one other type of uh, short-term contract for short-term price action, which are call spreads. And I like to put call spreads out there. And the reason I do this one last is it sort of makes sense following a knockout. A Nadex call spread, it does have a, a, a predefined range, all right? There's going to be uh, a floor and a ceiling on your call spread similar to a knockout, okay? So the value of a, uh, of a call spread will move roughly in line with the underlying market, similar to a knockout, similar, all right? Not the same, similar. And the reason it's only similar is knockout, I mean, call spreads, call spreads differ from knockouts in two ways. Number one, the contract only expires at expiration. 
So with a call spread, if it goes through the floor or ceiling, you are not knocked out of the trade. You still have time for your trade to potentially be right. So if I were to buy a call spread and it went down to the lower, it went down to the floor and it went, it touched the floor and even goes through it, I am still in the trade. I am not knocked out. And if it comes back up, I can stay with my trade. If it goes lower, you know, I, I, I do know going into it what my, the most I could lose and the most I can make. Okay, so it's still defined risk, defined reward. You simply don't get knocked out if it touches the floor or the ceiling. Now, because of that, so there is no price triggering settlement. Call spreads will settle at the end of the week at a price. Because there's optionality in a call spread, unlike a knockout, which is exactly delta one, and it will move exactly in line with the underlying, um, volatility and time to expiration get factored into the price of a call spread. And that will impact the price of the call spread where it will generally trade at a premium. Right? There's going to, because there's some optionality to it. Early in the week, there's going to be more of that premium value. Very late in the week, there'll be less of a premium value where the call spread and the knockout might trade closer in price, but there will always be some optionality component in that call spread. You will not have that in a knockout. So you, you do pay extra to trade call spreads to give you that optionality of not being knocked out if it goes through one of the levels. All right, so hopefully that all made sense. I wanted to go through the three types of products that we've got at Nadex. Now, if you don't take anything else away from this, this next slide is really important. And I'm going to tee it up, is it's really important. When you trade any Nadex product, and this is critical because this is, we will actually see this with uh, some of our more successful day traders at Nadex, okay? To be more successful at Nadex, just because there's an expiration associated with the contract. So a binary option is going, I mean, it can go five minutes to a week. The calls, the knockouts start off as weekly contracts, and every time one gets knocked out, we always add a new one. Call spreads are weekly contracts. Just because there's an expiration associated with the contract does not mean you have to wait to expiration to see what happens. Right? You don't have, you can, you can choose to wait and see what happens until expiration, or you can choose to exit the position early. Now, why would you ever want to exit a position early? And you would do it for two reasons. One, you would want to lock in profits, or two, you would want to limit losses. So if, for instance, I were to buy a knockout and it starts going against me and I change my opinion, I was wrong. Something happened. There's new information. I bought it and it started going down and I can either wait for it to hit the floor and get knocked out for maximum loss, or I can just simply say, I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna take a partial loss, and I'm going to move on to my next trade. That goes back to that, that trader discipline, that trader mindset that Travis and Guy were talking about. Now, on the flip side, it works the other way too. Um, you have maximum potential profit. All right, I sell um, an S&P knockout and it starts going down. Now, I think it was gonna go down. I thought it was gonna go down. It's going down, all right? I was right. Uh, you know, depending upon where the knockout ranges are and what, what floor and ceiling you pick, you don't necessarily think it's gonna get all the way down to the floor, but it's gonna go away down there. You could always buy it back and lock in profits because it moved the way you wanted and you got what you wanted out of it. So for instance, in the knockout, we have very distinct um, predefined ranges for you to get knocked out. A call spread, we give you ranges for you to trade within. That doesn't mean you have to use those ranges. You can choose to get in or out as it best suits you, as your opinion changes, as market conditions change. So you, 
aren't married to these positions. Same is true for binary options. Um, since we're talking probabilities, sometimes someone will buy a 20 binary option. So the market's saying at this moment in time, there's only a 20% chance of this being true, which means there's an 80% chance of it being false. Now, they trade a 20 binary option and it moves and it goes right, what, what I'll call at the money. The level that you chose and the price of the underlying become the same. Well, now that, that binary option is going to be trading at 50, right? So we don't know, is it gonna settle above or below? Well, if you bought it at 20 and you could sell it at 50 uh, and make 150% uh, return, you turn $20 into, into 50, so you profited 30 bucks, you might wanna do that versus waiting all the way to expiration and then finding out, hey, it went to 100, great, oh, I missed an opportunity, or it goes to zero. Remember, a binary option, zero or 100. One thing traders don't like is uncertainty. So there's times where you may want to choose to take your profits. In fact, that actually might even be your trade. I think this is going higher. I'm only buying a 20 binary option because maybe I can buy more of them because I'm only going to be spending $20 for each contract. So you might be able to leverage up if you wanted to. You could buy more than one. And then when it goes to 50, thank you very much. I'll move on to my next trade or maybe even 40. And doubled your money. So just because there's an expiration does not mean you have to wait till expiration to see what happens. Okay, um, I am going to take, uh, I just wanna take a, a quick peek at some of the questions so I make sure I cover them. Now, uh, actually I see one question that's, that's really important. Um, the prices that you see on the Nadex platform. While we do have market makers who will always be streaming liquidity, so you'll have two-sided markets. Interestingly enough, something else that definitely differentiates Nadex from other binary options exchanges is you don't have to sell the bid or buy the offer. You can choose to middle a market. You can post liquidity, All right? So the fact that you can post the liquidity is actually really interesting. That actually means our marketplace, it is a central limit order book. It's not just market makers out there, it's all of our market participants, everybody who's interacting with each other and who may have differing opinions can interact with each other. We will have a bid and an ask and these markets are constantly getting streamed, but you can put orders in to sell in between the bid ask spread. You could put an order to, in to sell above the ask if it were to go higher, just like you can put a bid in between the bid and ask because uh, you want to, you're willing to pay more, and, or you could put a bid below if you like. You can put these, you have that ability to put orders into the market, um, and I will show you that. All right, hopefully you got a really good understanding of the Nadex products, and you got that they are designed for short-term price action, and they're designed for the retail trader. Again, if you've got any questions, you can email us, customerservice at nadex.com. And I recommend follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will tease up that every single morning, 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central, we do a quick 10, 15 minute morning analysis. We live stream it on YouTube and we look at a couple of hot spots in the market. We look at some potential interesting support and resistance levels that you might want to look at. We might even do some technical analysis um, with Fibonacci or some other uh, tools that are available. And we look at hotspots. What is it that happened overnight? Where might you want to be looking? And whether there's some interesting opportunities in one of our products, whether it's, hey, maybe I want to, for this one, I might want to use a call spread. That one, I, you know, it might be better for me for a knockout. But this one over here, I th I'm definitely going to stick with binary options. So follow us on YouTube. We do put those um, live stream alerts out for about a week. You can set reminders so you don't forget. We record those. Those two are on our, our YouTube channel, just like this will be. So you'll be able to catch all that recorded content. In fact, if you want to go back and look at some older content, you are certainly free to do so. All right, what I'd like to do now is I am going to switch what I am showing 
And if you give me a second here, I am going to move over to this. Let's, um, there, that looks nice and pretty. We are looking at the Nadex website. And uh, give me one more second. I just want to take a quick peek. Oh, and if, you, if you're not sure what our YouTube channel is, it's just Nadex. If you go to YouTube and search for Nadex, you will find our YouTube channel. <laughs> um, it, it shouldn't be that, that, that challenging. All right, and I am going to show you the different products that we've got available in binary options, knockouts, and call spreads. And I also want to show you how, um, you know, hopefully this will, will resonate with everybody, um, how these products work right on our platform. And right, I am going to go ahead and log in. I'm actually going to log into a demo account. Oh, helps if I put in account. There we go. Now, if you don't have a demo account, I recommend you get one. Um, it's a great way to learn the platform. It is a great way to practice. It's a great way to learn our products. Now, I will tell you very clearly, a demo environment is different than a live environment. We are streaming live prices or real-time prices into our platform for demo. And you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, it says I'm in demo. If I were in a live account, it would say live. Now, here's the difference. There are different people at any given time in a demo environment, and they might just be playing around and goofing around. A live environment, you're going to have a different experience because all of a sudden, real money is on the table. So if you were to put an order between a bid ask spread, you'll impact the marketplace. People will see that, people will react to that. Someone might trade with you, someone might step in front of you, you just don't know, it's a live environment. In a demo environment, it's it's more like a playground, okay? So uh, you gotta think of it that way. But if you don't have a demo account, I would recommend that you get one. We find that people who practice in a demo environment also tend to be a little bit more successful. Now let's take a look. I'm going to start with knockouts, okay? Um, and when I and notice in the upper left-hand corner, we've got all three products. Um, there's this panel on the left-hand side with our products, knockouts, call spreads, and binary options. Uh, our, this is where uh, the workspace will be, and we will get to that. And your positions pane below. And I'm going to leave that up temporarily, then I'm gonna get rid of it so that we can have a little bit more room to work with. Now, in knockouts, we have indices. These are all the US indices. The S&P 500, which is the US 500, the Russell 2000, small cap 2000, the Tech 100, the NASDAQ, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Wall Street 30. Now let's just use the, I'm just gonna use the S&P for an example. I'm going to click on any one of these four. It doesn't really matter. The reason is, and I'm going to hide this so we have more space and I'm going to actually go ahead and hide this too, is you'll notice on our chart, there are four blue lines on the left-hand side of the platform. Those are the knockout ranges. When I click on one of them, it gives me the floor and the ceiling very clearly marked on the chart. Now, we can see that this, this knockout actually had, it got knocked out. Um, and now we've relisted it. I mean, it's, here we are. If I thought the S&P 500 were going to continue to go lower from right here, okay, I could sell this knockout. All right, on the order ticket. Now, notice the current indicative price, 37.05. Notice that my bid ask spread is right around that. Okay, so as the indicative price, the underlying price ticks, you'll see a bid ask spread right around the, this is delta one. If I thought this were going lower and I were to sell one, we very clearly tell you what your risk reward is before you enter the trade. If I were to sell one right here at 30, let's make it 37.05 even, because I thought it were going lower. I know that I cannot lose any more than $90 and I could potentially make 410. Now, how would that work? If I sold one right here at 37.05 and it went up, I was wrong, and it touched 37.14, that's the ceiling, I would get knocked out of the trade for my maximum potential loss of 
If I sold one and it were to go lower and it went down and it was, we could see yesterday it was down in this range and it touched 36.64, I would get knocked out for maximum potential profit of $410. Right, so I know exactly what I could potentially make and what I could potentially lose. Now, do I have to experience that? No. If I were to sell one of these and maybe it just came down to $36.90 and I wanted to buy it back for a partial profit, I could. All right. Um, if I were to sell one and it were to go up, could I, could I buy it back and just experience a partial loss? Yes. Now, we give you knockout ranges that are different specifically so that you could choose the risk reward profile that suits what you want to do. If I were going to sell, this might be one that I would want to do just because I'm minimizing my losses and maximizing my potential profit. If I thought the S&P 500 would go higher, all right, I could choose maybe this knockout. All right, and notice you got all four and you can see the ranges. Now, why would I why why did I say that if I thought it were going higher? Notice that here the floor is much closer. If I were to buy one of this knockout, all right, and it gives me the range, 36.94 to 37.44. If I were to buy one here at, and let's just put it in at 37.07. I wanna make it nice even numbers just for fun. If I were to buy one at 37.07, uh, if I were wrong and it dropped and it touched the floor, 36.94, I would get knocked out for maximum potential loss of 130. But if it were to go all the way up to 3744, up here I would get I would get knocked out for my maximum potential profit. So we give you different knockout ranges so that you can choose which risk reward profile best suits what you're trying to accomplish. And I mean I picked one right here in the middle where you know you could buy or sell this and you know how much you could potentially make or how much you could potentially lose. It's right in the middle of the range. Right, but it's going to move right in line with the underlying. It's a Delta One product. Now, from knockouts, I would like to show call spreads. All right, and on call spreads, same thing, indices, foreign exchange pairs, and commodities. Um, here, though, we're going to offer more. In call spreads, we actually offer some of our global indices, the FTSE 100, uh, the DAX over in Germany, uh, so we do offer um, some, some other products in here. Now, since we were looking at the S&P 500, notice that we also have different time settlements. Uh, this is a call spread that's going to settle in 17 minutes. Here's one that goes out for an hour and 17 minutes. Here's one that goes to the end of the day, and then we even have weekly ones. So let's just choose the one at the end of the day. I'm just going to pick one of them. And you'll actually see uh, on our chart, uh, they highlight what the range of the call spread. So if I thought, I mean, that's this one here. If I thought this were going higher, maybe I would want to buy this call spread if I thought the S&P were going up. Now, notice that I'm paying a premium. It is not right around 37.07. It is higher than 37.07. If I were to buy this, um, now, I know by buying this, I couldn't lose any more than $44. And the most I can make would be 256, where it would have to settle above this 3740 uh, level, all right? So you can, and again, you could buy or sell. Um, now, if I wanted to look at different ranges, I just simply click on the call spread. Here's one where it's right in between the middle of the range. Here's one where it's gonna be a little bit lower. Maybe if I thought this were going lower, I might want to sell this call spread, all right? And what were to happen if I were to sell this call spread? I'm risking 64 to potentially make $236. That is because I thought it were going down. Remember, if this, if I were to sell this and it went back and it went up and it, it actually touched the 3710 level, I would not get knocked out. I would not get knocked out at 3710. Uh, I still have time to be right. And it could turn down and it could be a profitable trade. Same goes if it were to come down and all the way drop through the floor, 3680, I would not get knocked out for maximum profit. I'd have to wait till settlement. Now, notice though, again, when I'm selling this call spread, okay, I don't get 3707, which is where it currently is. I would have to sell it below. That is that premium value that is associated with call spreads. 
Okay, so you're 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 going to be trading a little away from the market, but you get that optionality so that you don't get knocked out of your trade. And I want to reiterate, it is really important. You don't have to wait until expiration to see what happens. If I were to sell one of these, I could always buy it back either um, for a partial loss or a partial profit. OK, so uh, hopefully you got that with call spreads. What I'd like to do now is I would like to jump over to binary options. And here we have a whole variety of choices. If you want really fast price action, we've got five minute binaries in the foreign exchange pairs. In, in indices, um, in the US indices, we've got 20 minute. Every 20 minutes, another one of these is going to, uh, another set of these is going to get launched. Uh, and then, in the indices foreign exchange and in our commodities uh, we'll have hourly expirations daily expirations and weekly expirations and in each one of these there are going to be a variety of choices for you to choose from notice that the one that is at the money or closest to the money so right now we're in crude oil i'm just going to pick the middle one let me get rid of this notice that this this will settle in one hour and 13 minutes and as I expand the chart in oil here, you'll see this is the closest binary option, 48.40. The price is currently just above it, 48.44. So the price, the probability of this is just above 50. Notice that up here, 48.60, it's a lower probability because it would have to come all the way up here. Now, if it came all the way up here to the 48, 60 level, these would be trading right around 50, just like they are here. And the ones that are for below are trading at a much higher probability, up closer to 100. All right, so time and volatility get factored into these, right? And it's a probability. You are trading a probability. Now, if I were to buy a binary option, if I click buy, it shows me on the chart where it would have to settle for this to be a profitable trade. If I bought this binary, it would have to settle above here and it would go to 100. If it settled below here, it would go to zero. Now, if I thought oil were going lower and I thought, okay, you know what, I wanna, I, I, I wanna sell this contract. I think it's going to go lower. If I were to sell one of these, and let's just go ahead and I'm gonna put an offer in between the market. I'm gonna say sell one at 50, oh, someone just stepped in, 55, all right? I'm gonna place an order to sell one at 55. Notice there's, oh, someone went in front of me. Look at that, I dropped one at 55 and now, if I were to sell one at 55, I would potentially make 55. What would happen? I sell it at 55 and it settles where in the red, I said, I think oil's going lower and it settles in the red and I it would go to zero and I would make my $55. Now, if I were to sell one at 55 and it settled above 4840, it would go to 100. And since I sold it at 55, it goes to 100, I would lose $45. Look at that. I actually sold one. All right. So I sold one at 55. And I don't know. And, and, and by the way, on my chart, it tells me I sold one. And right now, if I wanted to buy it back, it would be a $6 loss. All right. Because oil started ticking higher. Again, not a buy or sell recommendation. I just wanted to show you how um, the probabilities move and how you can choose between different products. Uh, different time frames and different prices. Now, we got a minute left in one of these products. Here's the Euro US dollar. Now, let's try to find another one. Let's just see if I can do this. Um, the pound yen. All right, actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Uh, I just wanted to do this quickly. And the reason I do, I, I like to show a five minute one, if I could do this fast enough, because it expire, expires in 50 seconds. Um, notice, well, here we are. It's below this probability, so the market's already putting this down near zero. It's above this one, so the market's pricing it above 100. And you will watch as, as, the, as we get closer to expiration, in the next 15 seconds, all the prices are going to disappear. Uh, when there's about 20, 25, there it goes, 25 seconds left. The reason I wanted to show that to you is in these five-minute binary options, and this might be true for all of them, right as they come into settlement, Nobody wants to take the risk because it's either going to go to zero or 100 in the next 10 seconds, nine seconds, all right? And since this is right in the middle of this range, it looks like this one is going to settle at zero and this one 
is going to settle at 100. Now, as soon as that expired, all right, um, a new set of contracts, I hit refresh, a new set of contracts shows up. And here, let's just pick another one of these. And I just want to kind of look at this now. Let's get this out of the way. All the probabilities reset. If you're looking for short-term price action, um, you know what? I want to make this a one-minute chart because we're looking at, that'll uh, make it a little easier. I want to see all the probability. So this is the Euro US dollar. It's got four minutes and 23 seconds. Notice here's the at the money. It's just above 50. The one out of the money, just around 20%. And the one that's down below the fully in the money is around 90%. As this market ticks, as time goes on, these probabilities will move dramatically. And, uh, as you get closer and closer to expiration, notice there's only three minutes and 55 seconds left. Look at this. As this popped up, this went above 50 and went up into the 70s. And this one that was around 20 just popped up around 30. Um, these probabilities move quickly. Uh, if you want that excitement and that price action that's constantly moving, these products, they're all, remember, they're binary in nature. They're either going to go to 100 or they're going to go to zero. Uh, and, and with that, you've got very hyper um, price movement in five minute binary options uh, if you're looking for that type of action. All right, so that was knockouts, call spreads, and binary options. You got a really good feel for the platform. The last thing I wanna show you quickly because uh, I do want to take a break, and I know we've got nine minutes before Dan comes in and goes through some trading strategies. One thing I would like to show you is we do have tools on our platform to help you with your trading decisions, all right, uh, on our charts. Let's move this back to a 30-minute, uh, what am I on? I'm on the Euro Pound. This has been a really rather interesting story with Brexit. Um, we saw just a couple days ago as, as the euro pound started going through the roof because, oh my God, there's not going to be a Brexit deal to maybe they're going to solve it and it's uh, come way back down. We have a variety of technical indicators that you can populate your charts with. If you don't know what these technical indicators are, we've got in-platform education to help you a little bit on what these indicators represent. We also have drawing tools. So if you wanted to put Fibonacci, for instance, on Fibonacci, a, a very popular technical analysis tool, I'll click Fibonacci retracement. And if you're not familiar, I'm gonna, it's a one, two, three. I start, if we're in a downtrend, I start in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, I go to the bottom right-hand corner is two, and then I can extend it out so you can actually see the levels, three. If it were in the uptrend, I would do exactly the opposite. And you see, like this 23.6 retracement level, it was support. It was support, support until it broke through, at which point it's constantly been resistance. Every time we've gotten right to this level, it has come off of it. I mean, it even touched it here. Now, how does that help you? Well, if you see that and you think that's going to be the case, when it gets to this level, you could take a short position in a knockout, a call spread, a binary option. And when it comes off of it, you could simply buy it back and you can day trade. Now, if it were to go through that level to the upside um, and then come back down, that level would then become support. And in which case, whenever it came down to that level, you might wanna go long. So you've gotta learn how to use these tools, but they are available for you on the Nadex platform. They're right there on our charts. We wanna help you any way we can for you to, to make a determination on what it is that you want to do. And then when you see what you want to do, you can either buy or sell right on the platform with your indicators in front of you.